Welcome back to my second video in my Meg O Beauty Awards! La, 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 la. What am I doing? I don't even know. It's me. Why don't we... I don't know. So this video, I will be talking about all of my favorite eyes, lips, and random products from 2015 that are my favorites. I'm going to say again that I didn't just throw a product in this video just to throw it in. It's in this list because I absolutely love it and use it. So the first thing we're going to talk about are brows. And I have four different things to mention because I'm high maintenance and I like a lot of brow products. So I'm really sorry and you're just going to have to deal with it because this is my favorites video and it's not your favorites video, okay? This is no shock. I repurchased this all the time and it is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I go between the colors soft brown and medium brown, whatever I'm feeling, I don't know, it just depends. And this is the perfect brow pencil. It is so good and why I like it is because it's super tiny and so how I do my brows and I'm gonna do a brow video in 2016 because it's do it's like about time that I actually do one. Um, but I pretty much outline my brows with the Brow Wiz and fill in little spots and then I take this next product or a powder depending on how I'm feeling and then I usually take this next product which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and use that to fill in between the lines. I feel like my brows have never looked better doing this method and they just always look good, they always look sculpted but they don't look crazy. I don't want to look like sharpie brows or what do they call it? Instagram brows. I don't want to look like that. And then this brow gel, there's just like none other. It's the Anastasia brow gel. I don't know why it's so good, but it's so good. Like, it is the best brow gel you'll ever use. I mean, yeah, you could use like, I do love the Milani one, or you could use a clear mascara, but for some reason, I'm high maintenance like I was saying, and I really like that Anastasia brow gel. Now, if you're a girl on a budget, and you ain't got time or money, for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And if you really, really want a thin pencil like the Brow Wiz, I totally would recommend the NYX Micro Brow. And I have it in the shade Taupe, and I feel like it's really similar to Soft Brown. I did do a blog post comparing the two products where you can see them side by side and swatches and things like that. So you can go and find that post if you're interested in it. But if you're at Ulta, definitely pick this up. Grab it, it's so good. I think a lot of people say that they go through the brow is so quickly. What a really good idea to do is keep like one of the a brow is and a micro brow in your possession at all times. So if you run out of one, you always have the other and you can kind of just flip back and forth between the products. So you're not really spending as much money as you normally would by keep repurchasing repurchasing this over and over and over and over again. I'm smart. I know how to like save money and stuff. And I have three eyeliners that I want to talk about. This first one is so good and it's $3. It is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner and it comes in a little like brush. It's not felt tip. It's a little bit more scary to think about using, but trust me, it's so good. It dries matte, waterproof, it's amazing. Grab it, it's $3. And then my favorite gel liner from this year is the Maybelline Gel Liner. I haven't really used gel liner this year. I used to be all about the gel liner. This year, I feel like I hardly used it. I was all about liquid and pencil this year. But I do love this. I did find it this year and I was like, this is good and I'm not using anything else besides this. I still love my e.l.f. one, but definitely love this as well. And my favorite pencil liner is kind of random. I picked it up on a whim because I was really tired of sharpening all of my lip, my coal liners. So I was like, I just want something retractable that's also waterproof but is still creamy. And this is so good. I don't see why more people talk about it. Like, it's so good. Pick it up at the drugstore. It is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and it's in the retractable pencil. So it comes in just like a little retractable pencil like this. It's so black and creamy. It has a little smudger on the other end of it that you can... I'm just telling you, showing you how like blendable it is if you want to blend it out. And so I just blended it out. I have heard nobody talk about this eyeliner. It's so good for like if you just want to line your waterline, it stays put so well. 
I don't like to do like winged liner with it. I just do it in my waterline or just like if I want to give my eyes some definition. Or if I want to put it on and like smudge it out. So good! Why does nobody talk about this? Why has nobody mentioned this? I don't know, but I love it. And I have two favorite mascaras from 2015. Um, and I just love them. They're so good. I'm not really a high-end mascara lover, but this mascara made me change my thoughts. And it is the Benefit Roller Lash. So good. And I have repurchased it because it's so good. I don't even need an eyelash curler with it. It, it curls, lifts, separates. I mean, it does everything. I, I just love it, okay? Just go get it. Just trust me, all right? And then the second one was also kind of a surprise as well because I did not anticipate that I would love it as much as I do. And it is the CoverGirl the Super Sizer Mascara. It has a really interesting, like, inverted tapered wand. I've talked about this many times before. It's also in my top 10 drugstore mascara post. I love it because it also is one of those mascaras that does everything. I, it makes them voluminous, it separates them, gives them length, it curls them. It just literally, this is supposed to be like a volumizing mascara, but I really feel like it does everything. I usually like waterproof mascaras, but I have this one in the non-waterproof version, and it's so good and it stays put, because I have problems with them flaking on me. This does not flake. I love it. Go get it. The last products in the eye category is going to be my favorite eyeshadow palettes from 2015. This is big. I am an eyeshadow girl through and through. I have huge eyelids. I that's my thing. Like, if I'm going to do one thing, I would rather just do a beautiful eye look and wear just, like, a nude lipstick. I have two palettes that are just, like, unlike anything else that I have in my collection. And there's... I have Kennedy bothering me in one video and the baby waking up. Supposedly a limited edition product, but it is a MAC eyeshadow palette. I believe it's called the Nordstrom Naturals. This is expensive. It is an $85 palette, but hear me out, girl. Hear me out. It's got 15 full-size MAC eyeshadows. If you were to buy these in just the pans, they would be $10. So you're basically, like, it would be $150 if you were just to buy these eyeshadows separately. So this is unheard of. They're permanent eyeshadows. If you're an eyeshadow person and you want to just really get some great quality shadows, and you want to start a matte collection, this is such a fantastic way of starting, of really getting some beautiful MAC permanent eyeshadows. This is like unlike anything else I own. It is the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this was sent to me by IT Cosmetics. I wasn't gravitated towards it like other sh eyeshadow palettes were because it's all matte and I love me some shimmery colors. But... These eyeshadows blend like a dream. There's a pearl shade that makes, kind of gives everything a little bit more of a pearlescent look to it. And the shades are so unique, like the sunset and sunrise and these pinks and purples are so pretty and unlike anything I own or have in my collection. So for me, for 2015, this was an absolutely amazing eyeshadow palette to kind of complete some of my looks. I love this, and if you're looking for something matte, but you want some an unexpected pops of color, this is just perfect. I absolutely adore it. Now we're on to lips. I have my favorite, like, nude lipstick, my nude pink lipstick, and then my favorite red lipstick to mention. So my favorite nude lipstick from this year is Milani Nude Cream. And I've talked about this, like, many times before, but it's, like, kind of a darker nude. I don't look good in really light nudes. They wash me out and make me look like a ghost. But... Nude cream is this perfect nude color. And then my favorite pinky, like light cool tone pink lipstick, would be Max Snob. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's a cool tone. This is a satin finish. So it's not quite matte, but it's not quite shimmery. It's just like a really comfortable um, formula to wear on your lips. And that's Snob right there. And then my favorite red lipstick is from Wet n Wild and it is from their Mega Last lipstick collection. I hate the packaging, it's so chinzy, but the product is so good. And this color is in Stoplight Red. It is that perfect blue based red that makes your teeth look super white. Blue based and cool tone products look so good on me. It's so pretty. You'll love it. And then finally, I have some setting sprays in my favorite beauty tool from the year. And 
My two favorite setting sprays are the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I like this to keep um, to use kind of layered in between my foundation and powders and stuff. And I feel like it takes down the powdery look of whatever I'm creating on my face. I love this. I also like it as a setting spray as well. I don't like to spend tons of money on setting spray because I go through it so quickly. From day to day, I just really like using setting sprays. So my other favorite one is the NYX Matte Finish. And it is the closest I've found to the Urban Decay All Nighter, um, but it's also much cheaper. And I go through it so fast, so I repurchased this one, even though it's not exactly the same. And then finally, my last product that I'm going to mention from this year that I absolutely love, it is, it is a beauty tool. And I was blown away by this, and I didn't think I would be as impressed with it as I thought as I thought and it is the Real Techniques blending sponge this is their view version of the beauty blender and I thought oh there is no comparison to the beauty blender you must spend twenty dollars on that sponge because nothing is like it while I will say this is not exactly the same as the beauty blender I kind of like it better it is like more spongy, it's softer, I feel like it's more squishy, and I like that about it. It's more squishy. Do you like the way that I say squishy? With this one, it's also only $6. The Beauty Blender is $20. And I have both, and I use both, and I love both, but I will say, people that are trying to make Beauty Blender dupes like a thing, this is the, the dupe. There's no comparison. Even I've written a post about the Sonia Kashuk one being a dupe. No, I was incorrect. And I'm done. I am finally done. I have been talking for so long, but I'm done, finally. I hope you guys have enjoyed my 2015 Meg O Beauty Awards and you found something that you want to put on your beauty list. Don't mind the knocking because it's Kennedy. Thank you so much for watching me this year. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. I cannot wait to what all the fun things that I can do in 2016 for you guys. I have lots of fun ideas. I just want to thank you guys again so much for all your love and support and just like following me and, think and telling me I'm funny even when I'm not. It just means the world to me. So you guys are great and I hope you all have a fantastic new year and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!